Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I wanted to do a quick video talking about deductibles. Um, it's just, I, I, I gotta tell you this, one of the biggest deals when it comes to insurance claims it is is dealing with deductibles it it there there are there are bigger there are bigger you know issues out there but one of the one of the major ones is what my deductibles are and i got to tell you most people don't know which I, I mean i guess really shouldn't surprise us that much i mean when i got you know before i really got into insurance and i got insurance quotes this, I, you know, a lot of times, this is not even a question that was brought up to me. It's like these, uh, uh, th these agents would just assume like five hundred dollars for my car, or something like that, um, or or one percent on the house or something, and you know, it was it was listed in their quote itself, but they didn't discuss it with me, and so, you know, and then and then you have the added problem of maybe maybe you. Like did did your insurance policy with your uh, agent uh, quite a while back, uh, like a long time ago, and you've just simply forgotten and you haven't reviewed it again. So these, I mean, these are things that happen. So it shouldn't really surprise me that that these are things that people don't know. But what what I think is a bigger concern is how seldomly the deductibles line up with the person's ability to pay those deductibles. Normally, what we do is we line up the deductible with with what the person is able to pay for the premium. Well, that's helpful today, but tomorrow when you get into the accident, that's not helpful anymore. And I've had a number of conversations with people um, uh, when I was in a, when I was an adjuster, and and they were, you know I was like, okay, what's my deductible? It's a thousand dollars. Oh, I can't pay a thousand dollars. There's not really anything we can do about it now, um, and so you know that this is something. This is a conversation that should have been happened a long time ago. Once you hit claims, your coverages are your coverages, and there's not a lot that we can do about that. And but but that I mean but but that's something that kind of came up over and over and over and over and over again, and so. You know, my encouragement for the agents out there and in, and if you're not in insurance, but you're watching this or maybe you're an adjuster and you're watching this, but you're not an agent, you know, take a look at your policy and make sure that you can pay that. What I tend to tell people is, you know, it's like, all right, if if a claim happens, how much are you going to be able to put down on, you know, at the counter at the body shop two weeks from today? You know. Um, maybe you don't have it in the bank account right now. Maybe, maybe it's something that, you know, that you're going to be able to borrow. Maybe it's just room in the, on the credit card or whatever it is, how much are you going to be able to pay? And that should be your deductible. And yes, and yes, that means that, you know, the rich folks should have higher deductibles. That's normal. You know, that, that's quite often the case. Uh, you know, that, and, and. And it seems like, you know, from 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 one point of view, it seems really, like really super unfair. It's like, well, then they're paying less, you know, less premium than the poor person. Well, well that's true. They're they're taking on more risk than the poor person who like who, who is doing 500 or 250 deductibles. But they are able to carry more of that risk than someone like me. It's like I, I you know, I don't have a thousand dollar deductibles right now because I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't be able. I wouldn't be able to afford that, uh, in in the case of, uh, in the case of an accident. So mine are lower. That's not going to always be the case. And here's the other part of that: is that people's lives change. And you know what 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 is doable today might not be doable tomorrow. What's not doable today might might be doable tomorrow. And you know I see these people who have the same policy from when they were in college. And now they've got a family with, and they have children and they have a mortgage and they're sitting there writing on, you know, state minimum liability and, 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 you know, uh, $500 deductibles. It's like, well, both of those are, there's a probably good chance that we can move both of those. And, and so, so this is, this is a conversation that we need, that needs to be ongoing. 
Um, and, and so I, you know, my encouragement for today is for, 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 for the agents out there is to have that conversation with the, the family is not, not what are you paying now? I mean, what, what's your deductibles now? And let, let me, let me try to fiddle with it so I can get a lower price. Not that, but how, it, if this accident happened, what can you pay? And, and if it's not much, then the deductible shouldn't be much. And if it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. Maybe the deductible can be a lot. But have that conversation and keep having the conversation. For those of you who aren't agents, um, but, but, you know, took, a, took an interest in the title of the video or whatever, take a look at what your deductibles are and, and ask yourself that question. You know, um, if, if I'm going to pick up my car in two weeks from today, how much can I pay? And maybe it's more than your current deductibles and maybe you can lower your price a little bit, but uh, maybe it's less and you, and, and in all honesty, you need to bite the bullet today because when that time comes that they're not going to give you back your car uh, just because you, you, you know, you, you say that, well, I can't afford it. Um, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, I've, I've known way too many cases where they just flat out kept the car until you could pay it and and that's not something that, that you want and so i uh, appreciate you watching uh please do um please do subscribe to the channel uh or if you're on facebook to like the page where you're going to kind of keep doing these these little videos where you know we, we talk a little bit about claims and and things uh dealing with insurance and so we'll catch you next time